welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming a drag video. It's my first one of 2018 and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. I am drag when I'm in tits, tights, wigs, everything. My drag name is Luna Rose because I am the beautiful flower that blooms at night. Good little catchphrase, right? I know, right? I just want to do like a black smoky eye with a nude lip. It's just kind of that typical kind of sexy kind of glamour look. And I bought this wig myself from Webster Wigs and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I really want to show it on my channel because the last time I wore it is for Halloween. I'll put some pictures up around the screen. I was Catwoman, feeling that like fishy cat fantasy. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this drag transformation. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other wigs I should be picking up, what other looks you want me to do and yeah, subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos every single Monday, 8 p.m. GMT time and really hope you guys enjoy this transformation and thank you for watching. Bye. So I'm going to be starting this look off with a freshly shaved and cleansed face. And the first thing I'm going to go in with is this priming water that I got for Makeup Revolution. I just really wanted to give it a go. And yeah, it's my first time using it. It smells really nice. And I want to keep using it and just see if I notice that much difference in the wear of my makeup. From there, I'm going to go in and color correct my beard area and a little bit under my eyes, just so it kind of cancel out some of the blue gray tones that can show through if I just put foundation on without kind of covering my five o'clock shadow or dark circles and lightly sit in that in place with powder just so it doesn't kind of seep through my foundation and make it look orange. From there, I'm going to go in with a really nice full coverage Cryoline TV paint stick, my drag go-to makeup base, and pretty much just paint that all over my skin. I'm then going to add a drop or two of rosehip oil just onto this Real Techniques foundation brush and just buff it all into my skin to make it look flawless. I'm kind of avoiding my under eye region since I'm going to go in with my highlight shade there so it just stops it looking as cakey if I don't put too many layers in that region. From there obviously I'm just highlighting my face in the usual highlight zones. I change it up pretty much every time I like to do my makeup but this time I really like the way my highlight and contour and everything looked. And then with my contour I kind of did it really high on my cheek. Yeah I don't know what I was thinking. Look at my reaction. I don't really know why I painted it that high up, but it kind of works out in the end since as you blend it, it just kind of go a little bit lower on your face anyway. And then also snatch my nose. And I actually liked the way I contoured my nose for a change. It's the first time I've actually liked the way I contoured my nose. But yeah, but for that out, and then that is the base ready to set in place heavily using Coty Loose Airspun Powder. Once that is all baking, I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows. And then we're going to start with the eyes. I'm taking this Melt Dark Matte Stack, I think it is. And I'm just taking this kind of neutral tone brown and just buffing it all through the crease. And then with a slightly darker brown, again just buffing it all over the eyelid this look is kind of messy i just wanted everything to be smoky grungy and blown out so you don't really need any precision basically just blend out all the colors all over the eyelid and i am going to be going in with a steeler glitter so it kind of cuts the lid where i want it anyway so i pretty much just buffed everything out really heavily and sharpened it up with a little bit of powder on the edge just to give that elongated kind of smoky cat eye look after I've got everything really smoky and dramatic, I then went in and applied some eyeliner off camera and popped the Steeler Glitter on my eyelid. I wish I did apply a little bit more black kind of to my crease, but once the glitter's down, it's really hard to blend any other colours around it. Once I've used those same colours on my lower lash line, I popped Flexitarian on the inner corner of my eyes and took this nice white gold shimmer on my brow bone. To really cut my cheeks, I just used my blotting papers and basically used that as a guideline to really cut and define my face. I also then went back over my nose contour with a powder and then bronzed up my skin using my milk chocolate sole bronzer my favorite bronzer of all time and it smells like chocolate which is even better i then really heavily applied blush blush is one thing that really fades quickly on my skin so i normally like to apply it a little bit heavier and then like it fades as i'm like ready and finish the look so yeah i just kind of softly blended in since i went a little bit ham with it not gonna lie from there i also use flex tearing to highlight my skin i just absolutely love this because it gives that really wet look to the skin to line my lips i went in with a ColourPop lippy pencil and then i popped mac flesh pot all over my lids lids lips which is like a really really nude nude gorgeous sexy lipstick and then applied a little bit of the myth lip glass on top from there i set everything nicely in place to remove the powdery texture look using mac fix plus and then once all the face is on it's time to apply some lashes pop a wig on and i did add a little bit of glitter to my inner corners as well and that is the finished look i really hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you for watching bye